Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Giselle and here we do a little bit of fashion, a little bit of beauty, makeup tutorials, hair things, so a little bit of everything in terms of beauty. So if that's the type of content that you're interested in, go ahead and make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's free and it ensures that we stay connected. And don't forget to hit the bell as well. So today I went to Sephora and I picked up Fenty Beauties. <sighs> Just dropped it. So I went to Sephora today and I picked up Fenty Beauties newest product, Addiction. It's an addiction, but I'm going to say addiction. And it's their Sun Stalker bronzer. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing me try it on, then keep on watching. Okay, so today we're going to be giving um, this new bronzer from Fenty a try. Look at the packaging. I already got it dirty. Oh my gosh. Let me clean it up fingerprints but look at the packaging this is absolutely stunning like of course she did it again oh my gosh it's a cute little mirror you gotta touch up your lips or something but I got it in the shade caramel cutie but this is what caramel cutie looks like and it's absolutely gorgeous so let's go ahead and try this bad boy on I'm just gonna use kind of a tapered brush and this is from Royal whatever I think it's one of those molder brushes and it's in BMD 120 and it's a contour brush and I'm going to just go in the typical areas that I usually contour slash bronze That's pretty. Like you can see it on there already. Now I don't remember the name of the color that was right after this one, but to me that one had too much red in it and I just wasn't going to like it. Um, and it was also going to be pretty dark. Now these are bronzers, they're not contouring products. I'm sure you can use it as such, but just keep that in mind when you're purchasing it, that you are just bronzing the skin, you're not contouring, that's different. And then I like to go on my chin area, try to hide that double chin a little bit, and bring it down towards my neck. Let me go ahead and highlight a little bit and I'll be right back and we can talk a little bit more about this bronzer. So Fenty came out with eight different shades for these bronzers and they retail for $30 each. So with tax, I paid about 32 and some change for this one bronzer, which I mean, I think it's pricey, okay, because I'm cheap. <laughs> so $32 for a powder like a bronzer, I think it's a lot. You get 0.22 ounces. Girl, I'm saying this like I know what 0.22 ounces really means, but I know that it's not a lot of product in here. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta charge what you're worth, so I totally understand. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just saying these are some coins, okay? It's not, these are some coins. <laughs> That's all. Overall, I really like the bronzer. As you can see, it's a very natural and subtle finish, which is exactly what a bronzer is supposed to do. It's supposed to give warmth to the skin. You can sculpt it a little bit, but it's gonna be in a very natural looking way. I feel like this powder was really easy to use. It wasn't blotchy. It went on super smooth on the skin. It was easy to blend. I already had set my foundation with powder and it worked really well with the powders that I had used on my face. And I used the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose under my eyes and I usually go down a little further. That's in my highlighting areas. And then I used Max Studio Fix and C7 
to set the rest of everything and overall I really like it I mean I feel like this is a really brief freaking review because I only got one of them but I really like it I think that if you're looking for if you're into bronzers you know I wouldn't necessarily go in thinking like this is a contouring product because you're not gonna get the same intensity you might have to go like one or two shades deeper for it to be like a contouring then it would work what I did notice however with the darker shades was that it looked like it was pulling pretty red um, I would have to watch some reviews on people who have deeper skin tones than I do to see how they like the product and um, how those colors look but the one um, next to the caramel cutie that I got like the shade darker was pulling kind of red on me so I didn't want to bronze with something that was going to be reddish like that wouldn't look right on me so that's why I went with this one um, it did what I think you would do like it's more of a subtle finish then the other one would have been even more like of a bang like hey I was out in the Sun look at me I think that if I pair the two it will probably work best but I wouldn't use the other one on its own but I also wasn't about to be spending $60 just to make something work you know what I'm saying like if I gotta buy something and then I gotta use it in conjunction with something else to make it work and I'm paying all this money I don't want it so that's why I went with this shade so overall I like the bronzer it did exactly what it was supposed to do which was to give warmth back into the face um, it, can, it can help you sculpt a little bit too if that's what you're looking for the formula was really easy to work with really easy to blend so I have no complaints in that department I actually don't really have any complaints because the product did exactly what it was supposed to do and I had no issues with it um, to me it's just like it's a regular bronzer it's a well-made bronzer it's not anything that like blew me out the park you know what I'm saying like I feel like I have things in my makeup collection that I can probably use to get the same results um, it, it's not something that I feel like you gotta run out there and grab it right now if you're running out of bronzer and you're like you know I need a new bronzer go ahead and grab it but if you already have staples and favorites I don't know if I'm like you gotta go out and grab this right now this is the best bronzer I've ever tried you know what I'm saying it's a bronzer it did what it's supposed to do with all of that being said I hope that you enjoyed this review I hope it was informative um, and if you liked it enough I hope that you will stick around. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to like this video and share it with your friends. And I will see you on the next one. Ciao.